The only one I'm not particularly overjoyed about is the squat. I always preach full range of motion and it seems like depth has been cut here. So, it's a Tuesday evening, which means it's tier for nail time. This video is probably one of the most requested videos I've had on the channel for a very long time, which is to look at a popular influencer slash fitness professional and trainer being Caroline Gavan. As I always do, I've probably butchered her name. As I've said before, at least I'm consistent and you tolerate me nonetheless. I've partly categorized Caroline as an influencer, not so much for the content she's providing, more so for the fact that she influences a lot of people and she has a mass following. But her primary role is a fitness trainer. She is actually qualified, which isn't as common as it may seem in the industry, and she's also a mum of two. Caroline produces loads of content and workouts for her social media platforms. Most of her workouts get pushed towards YouTube, which is her more dominant social media platform. And she also offers free guides that you can download online, which just for safety purposes and make sure I'm not gonna show. Before we continue, obviously I have to do one thing. If you're new to the channel, you aren't aware what this may be, but you're gonna find out very quickly. If you aren't new to the channel, you already know what's coming. And that's the weekly piece of headwear that I've selected. And it's probably one of my favorites to be honest because like the tiara last week, it makes me feel beautiful and it makes me feel like an elegant slippery sausage. But basically, long story, when I was a kid, my mum used to call me slippery sausage. Embarrassing, showed it in a video before. We don't wanna go there. And now my friends call me slippery sausage too and it's horrific being called that at 27 years old. I've got a unicorn horn because I'm bloody mythical. Uh, that's not true. I'm abnormally, not up to ask, I say normal, I'm definitely not normal. And it's got ears as well. So, me. <laughs> Hi guys, this is my video, please watch it, thanks. <laughs> Tough times never last. Now that's out of the way, we're actually gonna crack on with the video. Today we're looking at one of Caroline's HIIT workouts that she's featured on her Instagram platform. HIIT workouts are high intensity interval training, and they are great for those who are looking to essentially burn a fair number of calories in quite a short period of time. Caroline keeps movements simple, but she does most of them with really great technique. The only one I'm not particularly overjoyed about is the squat. I always preach full range of motion, and obviously because Caroline's having to go very quickly, it seems like depth has been cut here, I would always try and get your hip crease below the top of your knee. So if you were to squat, this is my hip crease, this is my knee, the top of my knee. The hip crease needs to be below the top of the knee, so if you were to draw a line from the top of your knee across, your hip crease would be below it. That's why I consider good depth. Things don't need to be overcomplicated. A lot of times influencers do tend to overcomplicate movements because it looks better for social media, you know, it looks good for the gram. Another thing I do like about Caroline is that she caters a lot of her workouts to many people. So depending on your goals, she often has something for everyone. And like many influencers and content creators and trainers, she obviously boomed in the last 15 months or so due to obviously what's been going on in the world. I do appreciate massively how beneficial getting into workouts and getting into these home workouts when people haven't been able to access gyms has been for the mental health of her audience. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that mental health is something I'm a big believer in and something I believe deserves much greater discussion. If you or anybody you know is struggling, please don't hesitate to reach out. My DMs on Instagram are always open if anybody needs to talk. Perhaps if you want a more of a, like a group support network, we have a tier for now Discord server. And within that server, we have a need to talk channel. Just make sure to read the server welcome thing because you can't talk unless you tickle the boxes. So tickle the boxes, then you can talk. I refer to the tier for now community as like the tier for now family. I'm one of the primary purposes of a family is to support each other and that's what we will do. Trust me when I say, regardless of what's happening, things can always get better. And if you need somebody to talk to, then you always have me. So another thing I've said about Caroline previously, which I do really like, is that a lot of her movements, especially when doing these types of workouts, aren't rushed. She focuses a lot on time under tension, which is basically how long your muscles are working and are therefore under tension, which is a fundamental principle that many people overlook when it comes to muscle building. And like I said, I don't see a lot of that online. If I could shake your hand, Caroline, I would shake your hand. But obviously I can't do so because obviously it's a two meter rule, very complicated time, so I'm shaking your hand. Thank you. Oh, he's a sausage. Oh, God. How heavy are you? That's bad deadlift form. Please don't do as I do. You're a bit of a sleepy boy, little boy. Hello, puppy dog. Oh, it's a big yawn. Do you want to do the video of me? So now we're going to have a look at her YouTube workouts. One of the things I do really like about Caroline's YouTube workouts is their follow along. So she does them with you. She doesn't just say, do this, do this, do this. She's actively doing the workouts with you whilst you are, which can be very motivating for, uh, oh, are we done? You don't, you don't want to do this anymore. You don't, you don't need, you know what YouTube workout for you? Mm, you're on the fence, think about it. Or maybe a bit sleepy, do a YouTube workout. Are you watching Caroline? 
You got food on your nose. It's really hard, especially in a home environment, to encourage yourself to work out. So seeing someone do it alongside you can be great. And it's also nice that she doesn't pretend she's not struggling. She's working hard, you can see that. She shows previews of what's to come next, and she also gives you a countdown timer so you know exactly how long you're working for and how long you're resting for. She essentially is a personal trainer from the comfort of your own home, which is fantastic. She also has a very nice house. And another thing which I think is so important is that she gives low impact alternatives. So if you do have an injury or something, or perhaps you aren't comfortable doing higher impact movements, she's got you covered. Before we carry on the video, I just wanna quickly interrupt you for 20 seconds or longer knowing me because I do waffle. I'm gonna bump up the light goal from 150 to 200. I know it's a bit spicy, but I'm wearing a unicorn horn. I'm feeling pretty brave. Borderline dangerous, we'll see. But the support on the channel has been amazing recently and I would really appreciate it if we did get 200 likes. It shows me that you like these types of videos and then I know to upload more videos like these. The majority of these videos do surround influencers and content creators who identify as female. And the reason for that is the dominant audience of the TFNL channel does identify as female. And if you want me to be honest, I'm so proud of that and I'm so grateful for that. So I want to say thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for investing in the channel. And thank you so much for being bloody fantastic. Please do consider clicking the red button down below and subscribing to the channel. It does mean a lot to me. And if you want to make me very happy, obviously click the little bell next to it and obviously turn notifications on so you get notified when I upload every week. And if we get enough people doing that, I'll wear this unicorn horn to the gym when I stress test the TikTok leggings in which I will inevitably rip them and embarrass myself. And last thing before we carry on the video, comment question of the week. So if you have a question that you want me to answer, drop it down below in the comment section and I shall answer it at the end of the next video. We'll crack on with the rest of Caroline's video. And again, this is another great example of Caroline performing a movement with a slow and controlled tempo. She's performing an effective movement, being a front for elevated Bulgarian split squat, whilst utilizing time under tension, a necessary principle for hypertrophy. And she's also performing it with amazing technique. At the moment, obviously you see when she goes down the bottom, she hits the knee a bit. I would personally get as close to the floor as possible without touching, maybe like literally like half an inch and hover, to maintain greater time under tension. But again, that's just personal preference. I'm sure she has a reason as to why she hasn't done that. And another great thing here, she's not neglecting posterior chain work. She's chucking some staggered stance, single arm RDLs. Despite how small my bottom is, that's mainly because I have neglected it myself. Posterior chain work, big key when it comes to fully developing the body, fully developing your potential strength and reducing the risk of future injuries. And again, we've got some back work, therefore more posterior chain work and unilateral work. Fantastic, helps prevent potential imbalances from occurring in the future. I feel like I don't need to say mass amounts more because everything Caroline is doing is bloody fantastic. Like I'm honestly such a fan of what I'm seeing here and that's quite a rarity. It's even small things like just giving you a quick introduction before videos and explaining what's gonna happen and what we're gonna go through, etc., etc. that I think are really valuable. Granted, she's not spending mass amounts of time explaining why she do certain movements with certain technique, but that's not what this is targeted towards. This is a follow along workout for you to essentially replicate. And the thing I like about her programs and her guides is they are a supplementary aspect of her YouTube workouts. It's like a pre-programming notes section and they speak a lot about nutrition, recipe examples and ideas. The one thing that I'm not like a massive fan of is the term of like healthy swaps, which is basically here's a lower calorie option. I would always say that learning more about macronutrients is probably quite beneficial for many people in the future. But if you are just looking at quick and easy meals I can eat whilst doing these workouts, which I can follow, this, I would say this is top tier source. And if there was a stamp, I don't have a stamp, so I can't stamp on the screen. This is TFNL approved. But honestly, as a whole, I'm really impressed with Caroline. I think a lot of people are producing much better content than they have done previously. And I'm being directed towards a lot of people I hadn't actually heard of before who are producing great content. And Caroline is a prime example of that. Basically, Caroline, good stuff, big fan, unicorn horn, laughing. But now that's out of the way, now I've given Caroline the TFNL seal of approval, we're gonna look at comment question of the week. And it is, it's a good one. S-A, or S-A, asks, what are some good fixes for people with really long legs and hip impingement? Dumbbells I lift sumo, but my feet are in danger since they are so close to the plates, and my squat is essentially a sumo squat. How do I prevent losing force when lifting since I can't always be in the textbook form? When it comes to technique, they show you what textbook form is. That is very much dependent on your leverages. Biomechanics isn't that simple. If someone's got shorter legs, they will squat very differently to someone with longer legs. There are many considerations you need to take into account, which is why I don't necessarily believe in the term of like textbook form because it's very much dependent on the individual and how they are built. So I spoke to my coach for a second opinion, and I wanted that opinion to come from somebody who's more knowledgeable than me, and from somebody whose opinion and input I really 
really respect and appreciate. And we concluded that, make sure you are following basic cues. So for example, let's say you talk about the deadlift, you state in which you lift sumo. Make sure you are following the, I guess, universal guidelines of how to perform the movement properly which regardless of leverages are consistent amongst everyone. And those could be things as simple as not allowing the knees to cave, so making sure you're externally rotating the hips, pushing the knees out. Therefore, the direction which your toes are pointing, your knees are also pointing, and your knees are in line with your feet. So provided you feel comfortable doing so, please send me an Instagram message with a video of you squatting, deadlifting, whatever you may want me to see. Myself and my coach will have a look at it and we'll give you some proper feedback and guidance from there, if that's something you would like, but obviously you don't feel like you have to. That's it, that's the video. The video's done, so thank you for making it this far if you have, and thank you for tolerating all my waffle. As I said previously, 200 likes on the video and we'll create more videos like this. Please consider subscribing to the channel by clicking the red button down below and the little bell next to it. You know, big smile, unicorn horn, TikTok leggings, rip. And obviously at the end of every video, comment question of the week, drop a question down below in the comment section and I'll answer it at the end of the next video. Honestly, the support for TFNL has been unbelievable recently and I genuinely can't express how thankful I am. I wake up every day just genuinely excited to see what that day is going to bring regarding the TFNL family. So honestly, thank you so much for just tolerating me and thank you so much for sharing and telling your friends. Thank you for tolerating my waffle, thank you for tolerating my mythical unicorn horn, and thank you for tolerating the video.